What's going on, everyone? All the cool ass people watching this. You watch this, makes you cool. Mm. My name is Bowie, and I today am going to start uh, showing you guys how to do shit. I'm going to call this shit How to Do Shit Tips, Tricks, and Other Cool Shit with Bowie. Me, I'm Bowie. So, I originally planned on doing this a long ass time ago, and I filmed a whole bunch of tutorials already, but started noticing that most of my tutorials and things uh, I'm going to show you guys a lot easier to do on Linux. So, today, uh, I'm going to show you how to do shit on Linux. Nothing too crazy, just uh, how to set up shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts, and get rid of them annoying pop-ups that ask you for the password same damn password you've entered so many damn times if you use Ubuntu or uh, any derivative of Ubuntu you're probably very familiar with them password pop-ups key rings and all that shit and you gotta fucking enter the password every damn time so I'm gonna show you how to get rid of it I mean you know your password so why the fuck you can't enter it so many damn times Let's get rid of it. Alright, so today I'm sorry for, with um, just that small tutorial and we'll move along, get more advanced, and I'll show you how to do other cool shit. Especially for all you folks outside North America. Because you know you can't do shit that we can in North America. Like how we Canadians can't watch certain videos that the Americans can. I'm gonna to get rid of all that shit and just fuck them. Fuck all that shit. Fuck the rules. Make your own rules. So starting today, I'm gonna teach you shit. Just drop knowledge. Knowledge? Drop. That's actually a USB stick, but dropped. Word. Let's get to it. Alright, so as you can see. I am using Linux Mint. Yeah, using Linux Mint. Um, really, you can do this on anything, but I like using Linux Mint because you can capture the screen with Alt, Control, Shift, and R. Awesome. I like that. Easy. But anyways, this is what we're going to do. All right? Now, if you're like me, uh, you're going to have... Uh, a file browser and a terminal. Uh, one set for a user and one set as a root. If you're uh, familiar with Ubuntu and any uh, of its, uh, I'm gonna say, sisters and you know, little siblings like uh, Backtrack and Mint, right? You'll be familiar with uh, the command sudo right? uh, in Ubuntu. Uh, root is not enabled by default so to uh, perform uh, root commands you're going to use the command sudo s u d o now when you do that it asks you for your password every time right uh, that's the command in the terminal uh, to do it uh, for like a, a, a window a, a GUI it's a uh, gksu it's still going to ask you for your password right now here's what I think you already logged on. You already entered your password. Well, why you gotta keep doing it? Right? I mean, yeah, it's safe, secure, and all that bullshit, but it gets kind of annoying when you gotta you know, do it over and over and over and over again. So, let's like get rid of it. Actually, let's like set it up first. Alright, so I'm gonna show you how to set up the uh, shortcut first. Alright? So this is how to do it in Mint. Alright, so we're gonna go to activities and we're gonna go to the uh, oh, oh, go? activities and keyboard. Uh, we're gonna go keyboard. Here we go. Yeah. Mm. And shortcuts. We're gonna go to custom shortcut. Custom shortcut. Go. Actually, you know what? There's one right there. Uh, terminal. Okay, that's where it's set. So the terminal's already set, that's the control alt ts like pretty much for every Linux distribution. So 
We're going to set one up for the file browser, which is Nautilus. The command for that is Nautilus. Right? So, I want to make it control alt F. Right? Control alt F. Right? Now, to run the file browser as a root, the command is to change this to root Nautilus. It's GKSU. Nautilus. I don't know why I'm saying Nautilus like that. Nautilus. Eh. So what I'm going to do for that is control, update, control, alt, shift, and F. Alright. I'm going to set one up for the terminal too. Uh, root terminal. Alright. GSU. I think the thing is genome terminal. Pretty sure it is. If not, we'll see what. Alright, so I'm gonna set that up for control alt shift T. Alright, so I'm gonna close this window and let's try it out. Control alt T open that. Control shift alt T opens that window. The window asks you for your password. I'm just writing this. So, and the password, bam, it opens up. Right? Right. Now, Let's say you don't want that. Like, let's say you have to open this shit up all the time, like constantly, right? Like just like the file browser, right? Just to move shit around, right? That's gonna be an annoying. Enter your password if you have like a long ass password. That's gonna get really annoying. So to get rid of that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the uh, web. I already have one open. Where is it? There right, we go. We're gonna go over here and uh, see how we already uh, have root. Uh, permissions, we're gonna go, actually, you know what, let's do it without the root, normal terminal, right? So the command is sudo v, sudo, enter, what the hell, yeah. that's your password, again, right? So what we're gonna do is scroll down to, admin, admin, we're gonna move over to the A and we're gonna type in no pass WD colon space and click capital. Right? Uh, save this, we're gonna close it and that's you to save. Yes to save, enter, done. So now it's done. Right? Let's, uh, I don't know, let's log out. Hmm. Anyway, let's try this. Let's Close this window, close this window, close this window. Ah, okay, let's, let's try to control alt F opens up the file browser. Control alt shift F opens up the root. No password. Alright, let's try it with the terminal. Control alt shift T. And we got a terminal without asking you for a password. <clears throat> so, that's how you set up keyboard shortcuts and get rid of them annoying as password pop-ups. Mm. So, learn it. Go use it. Abuse it. I'm Bowie. Awesome. You can be awesome too. Later.